drive looking caramel. It's quiet right now. We're going to keep an eye out for some showers right around 40 degrees right now up in Hamilton County uh, for this morning. Let's flip over to Storm Tracker. You do see a little bit of action going on up north. Now, Marion, Kokomo, Lafayette, get over toward Warren County and western portions of the state around the I-74 corridor between I-74 and I-65 uh, in western Indiana. It's just very light rain. The northern uh, radar here out of the state kind of showing it's not as widespread as what we were initially showing. You got some pockets of showers, though, just west of South Bend, Michigan City, Gary, near Monticello, Lafayette, kind of right along I-65. And then a few scattered showers, Huntington, Marion, Hartford City, Fort Wayne and Auburn, all seeing some very, very light rain. Some of that's going to drag down to the south as this trough here kind of digs down to the south. It's going to do a couple of things outside of the rain chances. The winds will pick up a little bit, not super strong, but you'll notice them. They'll shift to the north and west, and it will bring a shot of cooler temperatures to the northern half of the state overnight uh, tonight. Storm Track 8 future cast as we skip ahead to 9 o'clock, again, showing some of these scattered showers. I think better chances or your higher probabilities for rain will be along and north of I-70. That's going to continue through lunchtime. Now, as we go into the afternoon hours, I think rain chances are still available but very, very spotty, very light. We're talking sprinkles here. I don't think it's anything significant. If your kiddos have practices or games later on this afternoon, this evening, I think we're okay. I certainly don't think the rain, even if you get under a shower the second half of the day, will be heavy enough to cancel uh, any of those events. I do think we'll quiet things down then overnight. Leading into Wednesday morning, this wants to say a few sprinkles possible. I wouldn't rule it out. But I'm not overly concerned with any rain chances heading into your Wednesday. Wednesday actually should be a pretty nice day. 40 right now. Southeast wind at around 3. Again, those winds will pick up gradually as we go throughout the day. Still maybe some frosty issues out in eastern Indiana. Richmond at 32. But everybody else over that threshold. So we're in decent shape here. It, temperatures are going to struggle today. We're not going to get a ton of sunshine even when we're dry. 49 at noon. I'm going to go with a high of 56 later on this afternoon. Tomorrow a little better especially here in the metro and point south, low and mid-60s. You're going to be a bit cooler up north. We're in the low to mid-50s for the northern third of the state and warmer still as we head into your Thursday with sunshine. Now, once we get into Thursday night, we start to ramp up the pattern. It becomes a bit more active. We've got several rain opportunities, one coming in Thursday night, another coming in Friday night into Saturday, and then on the back end, Sunday. Your best rain chances right now look to be for the weekend. I'm not going to say the weekend is a complete wash, but we'll have several rain opportunities. So if you do have outdoor interests, it is something you're going to want to pay attention to. I don't think we're going to get a ton of rain, maybe a half an inch to an inch of rainfall out of the system between Thursday and into Sunday. But something else to note, I think we're going to get a shot of, again, chilly air on the back end of this system here. 63 on Thursday. We peak on Friday with that chance of showers and storms 65 showers breezy on saturday 63 more showers and windy conditions sunday chilly too 56 in the mid 50s with a few rounds of rain hang around for monday and tuesday of next